Hi everyone, it's Ariel here and welcome back to my channel. Today it is Vlogmas Day 7 I think, we've officially made it a full week and I'm so excited. But today I'm going to be doing a long awaited Q&A video, I haven't done one of these in a while. I actually filmed one back in September which is still a long time ago and it feels like yesterday that I filmed it, I swear. The past 3 months have just flown, the past year has flown honestly. But yeah, long story short, I never ended up uploading the one in September because of a brand issue and so I owe you guys a lot of answers to questions that you guys asked a long time ago and some recent questions so we are just gonna get right into it today's Q&A vlogmas if you haven't watched all my other vlogmases you definitely should you don't want to miss out before we move on to week two but yeah make sure you give this video a big thumbs up comment down below subscribe all that good stuff and thank you to everyone on mainly Instagram I usually ask for tuning in and asking me questions you should definitely follow me on there if you want to participate next time so first question question is I hope you're doing well thank you I hope you're doing well also what helps you stay motivated love you I love you too so candidly my biggest struggle in life is low-key motivation so I'm glad you asked that I know I've opened up about it a lot in vlogmases but what helps me stay motivated is basically just thinking of my future self what does she look like what does she embody who is she what do I want to achieve where do I want to be in six months to a year because honestly I need to drive all of that motivation into keeping on grinding also just thinking about like making my family proud and you guys know I live across the country so every day I'm always thinking about like I need to make it worth it that I'm across the country grinding because you know it is hard being away from my family so my family motivates me and honestly you guys anyone who supports me and has been supporting me for years motivates me all the time I honestly always have to just remind myself of the people who support me and remind myself to just keep pushing and keep going but yeah it's honestly just been a struggle for me all year and a big part of that also is figuring out multiple hustles that I want to have and I've honestly I know I've mentioned in a few videos the past week I feel like I've forgotten to be a youtuber up until like doing vlogmas again but it's because I've realized the older I'm getting the more I feel weird sharing my life on the internet like I was just thinking about how when I was 14, 15, 16, 17 on YouTube, really in my prime on YouTube, I was like oversharing like crazy, like I was just talking and talking and now I feel like as I've gotten older I've become a lot more reserved and private and like cautious of what I tell people and like I don't even really open up as much anymore in general so Vlogmas has been motivating me a lot too to just kind of push myself and get out there again because yeah I just got like in such a rut I think in the past like two three years of like hold on I've been doing YouTube for so long and now it's like at a point where it feels a little weird because I stopped for a bit so I was like wait how do I navigate this and like still share my life and keep growing my platforms but thank you so much for your question um the next one is did you expect to date your now boyfriend so no I think we've mentioned this in our videos together but he's been a friend of mine for so long I think like four years now and it's just so funny because we both never looked at each other like that like I never ever ever looked at him like that and it's also funny because I feel like you know us girls we talk and back then when we were just friends like girls would ask like oh what do you think of Sunny and I'd be like that's just my homie like that's my homie like I I was like it would never go there it's just so funny like if you were to tell me back then like you're gonna be in a two-year relationship with Sunny I would have been like what like he would have said the same like we probably would have both told you drink up like but yeah I guess they do say that the best relationships happen that way happen as friends I promise when you're not looking and when you don't want something it's gonna come like it's crazy but yeah and sometimes you have to stay open to like imagine I were to friend zone him or like vice versa like it would have never been a thing so it's crazy to think about but no I never expected that what is your big three so super fun question I actually want to do I know I've mentioned 
mentioned before that I want to do like a zodiac video but I feel like the perfect way to do that is like a segment into vlogmas so if you want to see that let me know but I am a Capricorn Sun Capricorn season coming up watch out December 23rd I'm turning 24 years old don't play with me and then I have a Scorpio rising which is crazy because I always like growing up felt like I butt heads with Scorpios and it's funny because my man is a Scorpio literally most of my romantic relationships in my whole life or like dating experiences even when I was single involved Scorpios like I don't understand <laughs> but it makes sense why I would like clash because they say like your rising is how people perceive perceive you when they first meet you right and I think that's so true and I feel like I could totally see how I give Scorpio energy when you first meet me I can be really like reserved and kind of like quiet I don't know I feel like but well, when you get to know me and I get comfortable that's when I really start opening up and showing my personality um, and then I have an Aquarius moon which your moon I believe is like more like in tune with your emotions right I know Venus is like your love sign i forget what my venus is honestly that's why we have to do a zodiac video i feel like i'm into it but not like super 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 into it to the max like i know enough but yeah an aquarius honestly i only know like one aquarius actually two and it makes sense because i feel like i i am a little similar to them in a sense but yeah that's my big three can you explain being a playboy bunny so i got a lot of questions like this and i did want to address this in my q a i feel like some of you are like wait what like what are you even referring to what are you talking about but on my instagram i posted that i do have a playboy centerfold account now playboy invited me to be a bunny and be on their platform and i'm honestly super super honored and basically i was really hesitant on doing so and I didn't want to post so much about it but I did know I wanted to explain it at least in one YouTube video but Playboy reached out to me and I think that the brand really embodies women in a classy and beautiful beautiful way and yeah so when they reached out Centerfold is basically a subscription based platform where you could post content to um, kind of similar to OnlyFans but it's a lot different at the same time and I know I've said on videos before that I would never do an OnlyFans but I feel like the association with Playboy Playboy goes along more with how I want to represent myself um, than OnlyFans. Nothing against OnlyFans or OnlyFans creators, that's just my personal vibe. But yeah, I just feel like I already post revealing photos on my Instagram. I post bikini pics, I post lingerie hauls to my YouTube, I posted lingerie stuff before. So why not join the platform? There's a lot of opportunities that also come with now working with Playboy and you know potentially doing campaigns and expanding my modeling career. If you guys don't know, I also model on the side that's another source of income for me and now centerfold is another source of income and I mean girl to girl why not monetize off of my email audience because and even for them watching this it's just an opportunity to see more of that revealing content and in no way am I going to be expanding into like any x-rated content right now my centerfold is basically like a finsta I show a lot of behind the scenes from photo shoots bathing suit lingerie content etc that I would already normally put on Instagram but now I'm just shifting it to that platform um, but yeah I feel like there's a lot of stigma around it I don't really want to sit here and explain myself too much point is I'm about to be 24 years old I'm a grown-ass woman I was very cautious about it because I'm very cautious about anything surrounding my personal brand my future what I want to do what aligns and what doesn't and I felt like Playboy is a good brand to partner with and yeah so if you're interested catch me on centerfold but i didn't want to promote too much because i do have majority female audience and i post makeup fashion etc so i didn't want any of you guys to be like oh like she's changing she's whatever you know so yeah i'm like trying to figure out like what to do there but for those of you who were confused that's my answer and that's what i have to say on that so yeah okay so multiple people wanted to know which why you guys tell me y'all feeling messy a lot of people ask if I still talk to my ex no 
Um, and how long did it take you to completely get over your ex? And to be honest, I did not want to answer any of these questions, but I actually was thinking about it and I was like, you know what? The second question, the how long part, I feel like that would help somebody. And I was talking to my boyfriend too, like, should I even reopen that topic? And we both kind of agreed like to angle it more so to help you guys. So how long? So if you don't know, I was in a five-year relationship from the time I was... I don't even know 13 14 until I was about 18 I don't know freshman year of college it's crazy to just think about how much time goes by wow because now it's like I don't even remember but that's what I mean that's why I wanted to answer this because I wanted it to be your motivation that it is possible if you're going through something right now a breakup whatever it is I wanted to answer this for you so anyways if I could go back and tell myself I shouldn't even be dating at that age I totally would but the relationship had a lot of effects on me emotionally mentally and it was just all bad so so I don't know if you ever heard that it takes half of the time of your relationship to heal from it and I would definitely say that's true. I think it took me about two years to fully not give a single shit. I feel like back then we weren't even in love anyway so it wasn't even so much about getting over him. It was more so about like the damage of the relationship and the aftermath of it on myself. So I think it is true. It does take time. I would say half the relationship where I truly was like I could not care less about anything to do with this but yeah I just wanted to answer this because healing is a journey everyone's healing path is different don't rush yourself don't feel bad everyone's situation is different you know like you just go through things and don't get me wrong I feel like I will also open up, up about this in like a relationship type video maybe next month like girl talk get ready with me relationships and especially toxic relationships will honestly have a lot of impact on your way of thinking and the way you move and feel feel in your next relationships too so it's crazy because a lot of the issues you have from past relationships can sometimes carry over even when you thought you were healed um so that's like another topic for another day but yeah now you guys don't have to ask me about that anymore <laughs> anyway how do I network when I'm too shy to walk up and talk to people so I definitely feel this and the older I get I feel like I become more antisocial too um so <laughs> it can be really hard and intimidating sometimes so I really recommend LinkedIn and even emailing, um, cold emailing people, introducing yourself, spreading your work, um, networking, seeing what you do, um, asking to meet up or asking for like a phone call or anything. But honestly, I think network events are really helpful too, just because everyone's there to get to know different people and meet people. And it's a little bit less intimidating than like if you're just out somewhere in an office setting and you have to introduce yourself like out of nowhere. And honestly, working on being shy when it comes to networking is so so key I promise you it's all about who you know like so many of the time who you know will land you your dream career and and stuff like that more than what you know sometimes so sometimes you have to really practice getting over that shyness because it will help you so 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 much what is your fave coffee order I have so many I can never go wrong with the classic ice latte ice caramel latte with some vanilla sweet cream cold foam but yeah talking Starbucks I get like a lot of different orders uh, my favorite is an ice triple espresso in a venti cup splash of oat milk i think it's three pumps of white mocha and then um sweet cream cold foam in the fall i get pumpkin cream cold foam it's just the perfect balance of pumpkin because i don't like too much pumpkin it is amazing i'm like salivating think about it i actually didn't have coffee today and it sounds so immaculate right now but yeah i also love me a good cold brew cold brews are amazing i didn't like them for a long time but vanilla sweet cream cold foam you can't honestly go wrong but if i'm at any coffee shop an iced latte with oat milk can never go wrong i also love me a good cappuccino also for like a hot beverage favorite alcoholic beverage so if you've been watching my vlogs you probably know it's hennessy um it's crazy because I cannot do any tequila anymore. I can't. I do tequila and I'm like on the floor dying, done. Any type of sugary drinks 
it's crazy like how your alcohol taste will really change but I love a good Hennessy mixed with fruit mixed with strawberry Hennessy mango Hennessy passion fruit Buffalo Wild Wings they have a drink I believe it's called Henny Hustle you need to try it it is amazing I feel like I have the drinking taste of a grown man but yeah like my friends will laugh at me because honestly I'm just there taking Hennessy all the time but I don't know if this is true but I've heard because you know how they say like a lot of Asian Asian people like Hennessy that it has to do something with like how it mixes with your blood and stuff but I don't know Hennessy just gets me right every time I actually just recently after the benefit of it actually <laughs> Um, I ended up throwing up at night um, way later on in the night too I don't know what it was but that was my first time ever throwing up from Hennessy crazy but still I feel like I could drink it and not throw up like if I drink tequila even if I drink Red Bull even if I drink pineapple juice now like I will gag it's bad workout tips I can't motivate myself ever girl you're telling me I said I was gonna sign up for a gym membership this year and where is it I literally have let so many good deals slide by zero initiation fee every and I still haven't gone to the gym so we're gonna shoot for 2023 and hopefully motivate because I have gained a lot of weight this year and I think it's good like I like the weight on me but there's certain areas that I don't so, so I just want to get more snatch and tone how do you know dude is playing you so sometimes I think it can be pretty obvious but sometimes we don't like to accept that someone's playing us and we don't like to see the signs so honestly if he's making no effort if he like can can go honestly a, even a day without talking to you like just keep your options open sis like if he's not head over heels obsessed with you like I have learned like the a man who wants you is gonna change everything for you is gonna do whatever you say whatever you want and yeah don't settle for anything else if he says I don't want a relationship it's not a relationship it's he doesn't want it with you any of those words like any of those little actions any of those behaviors it's just like it's gotta go i definitely want to do like another video more about like dating tips and stuff like that what do you miss most about your apartment so oh my god I get so emotional think about it because I've been out of my apartment for nine months now that's crazy but I mostly miss the convenience of being in LA because now every time I hear something's in LA I'm like oh my god the drive like it's just so extra but yeah the convenience I miss the views looking out of my apartment seeing the hills and the Hollywood sign um, and I just miss like honestly having kind of like more of a sense of independence um, don't get me wrong, I'm one independent ass girl and that will never go away, but I feel like, and by the way, I'm not talking about like because I live with my boyfriend, if you guys don't know, my boyfriend and I actually live with some of his family members as well, so that's what I mean, I just miss my independence, like my alone time, I'm so huge on like, I don't know, I'm just a very like, I love being alone, like I could be alone in my room, for days at a time like I'm not the type of person that feels like I need social interaction so that's basically what I mean like just having like my place you know and having like my own kitchen my own bathroom like all that kind of stuff but 2023 we're gonna get there um tips for moving in with your partner so I definitely want to answer this more with him and like do more relationship advice videos but first things first I think definitely do sleepovers go on trips do some trial runs because honestly that was the only reason me and my boyfriend thought it would be such a good idea because he would literally stay with me for so many days even weeks sometimes and we just would have the time of our our lives like would not get into it and it's still like that to this day I, I always see like some people say like that they have separate rooms from their partner like sleep in separate beds and I'm not trying to talk on anyone else's situation this is honestly just my opinion like maybe I'm just this type of person and my man is just this type of person but I feel like when you're in the right relationship you're not gonna feel like oh like I need to get away and like I don't know maybe that's just me and my man's relationship but he'll be in the restroom and we're texting each other like miss you like that's just how we are so I feel like it was just a really easy transition to live together don't get me wrong of course there's times we bicker and like get annoyed of each other but I don't think it's because we live together it's just like what it is in a relationship but yeah feel that first because like I just like I said I love being alone I love my solitude so when he was around me and I was not tired of him I was like oh wow I like this like this is nice I was like okay this this is good because if you know me you would know I would still be on my apartment okay we're gonna do two more because this is 
so long. Um, what is your dream city to live in? I feel like it was Los Angeles and I feel like I still love Los Angeles. I've talked about a few times. I think in the video that I talked about that I was moving away from Los Angeles, I touched on a few reasons I don't love it as much anymore and it's not for the reasons you think. Um, I just think that it's become a very like negative, um, unsafe, sad place. There's so much like homelessness and just so much bad stuff in LA so yeah I honestly have been thinking too of what it would have been like if I went to college in New York City like if I didn't leave and I just went to college in New York City obviously I don't regret anything I'm so happy I moved out here you know I wouldn't know the people that I know and have the life that I have if I didn't but I feel like it would be a vibe and it's so weird how things change too because in, in high school I would be like oh I don't want to live in New York City um, but I feel like I would like to for like a year or Miami I just feel like that's another place that I would never picture myself wanting to live in but lately I'm just like damn I kind of want to go to Florida so yeah and last question is any tips for being consistent to be honest I've been MIA on YouTube for the past six months girl me especially before vlogmas you guys know I was dropping like three maybe four videos a month maybe which is all bad but honestly through vlogmas is why I'm able to give you this advice because really I wouldn't have been able to speak on this through vlogmas I've realized that consistency is really just like a mental thing of you saying you have to do it I've pushed myself like you have to to do it and it's in your daily routine and in your to-do list and I mean it's a little bit easier said than done because I've been doing social media full-time so it's easier in that sense but you kind of just have to force yourself to be consistent and force yourself and think of it as just your escape and do it but yeah I've been talking and talking and talking and honestly my back hurts so bad so we are going to conclude this Q&A and this vlogmas day seven right here i really hope you guys enjoyed thank you guys so much for asking questions i can't wait to chat in the comments i hope you learned something stay tuned for more vlogmas i'm not sure if you guys will see me tomorrow yet but yeah i talked about that in vlogmas day six so if you didn't watch that and you want to know why you might not see me watch that but yeah thank you guys so much for watching i love you all so much and i will see you guys next time bye everyone